Yeah. Normally I'm shouting at mine, like, come on. Yeah, come on. Hey folks, welcome to the video. In today's episode, we're going on a road trip. A few weeks back, Joe and I set off up north. We went up to Liverpool for a big speedy expo show. We went with one challenge in mind, apart from enjoying a day away from the kids. Uh, it was to see what construction tools that we usually use in petrol form can be now be replaced with these bigger batteries. At the end of the video, I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek into what we actually decided and what I've actually been using today, because it's great stuff. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, we are on a bit of a road trip, aren't we? Yeah. Slash date. <laughs> we had a night away. Any opportunity we can get. Uh, we are up at the Speedy Expo. This is basically the industry go-to event for all big, grown up tools and tool hire and all that sort of stuff, but we're bringing the DIY aspect to it. So we're gonna look through a bunch of tools and basically our sole ambition is to see if- Write your own Christmas list. Write a Christmas list, basically to see what petrol tools can be replaced by battery tools nowadays, because the last year things have taken a turn, things are getting bigger and more powerful. So let's go take a look. They will start here. So. So basically, MX Fuel was launched in uh, 2020, okay, during the middle of COVID, obviously. <laughs> um, but it's not, not till the last uh, year, 18 months, we start to get it out there in the market, okay. So currently in the range, we have, um, I think it's eight products, okay. And the first one being um, a 25 kilo class uh, breaker, okay. So that so is- all, It's all battery. So this is so this is all battery that operates on the six amp hour battery. We can use the smaller battery on there as well. So we've got two batteries in the range. All the batteries are interchangeable, which is a good thing, of, you know, yeah, with our definitely. equipment. Everything is always interchangeable. So this uh, breaker at the minute um, that will that is an equivalent to a, a hydraulic power pack. It will do exactly the same as your hydraulic, uh, like your I hate to say it, yeah. JCB Beaver three power pack with all okay. the hydraulic hoses and petrol and things like that. The only real maintenance on this is um, basically, there's a grease nipple underneath that rubber bung there. And all that requires is a bit of grease um, every up to 40 hours um, to basically grease the, the steel. And that's it, Yeah. simple yeah. as. And it, all it is, it's just a simple operation is push button, pull the trigger and away you go. It will break up to about two tons of concrete on one battery. So it gives you a decent run time yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, that's kind of one of the concerns. I guess historically everyone's like, wanted to hold on to petrol tools and stuff, but yeah. now it's kind of not so much of an argument, is it? Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a great tool. Um, you know, battery, batteries take about an hour and 20, an hour and a half to charge, and they always come with two batteries anyway. So yeah. you can get a decent good yeah. day's work out of it. Yeah. Um, but say, hopefully, you know, we, we've, once you've used one battery, you put the other battery yeah, on, you can really be charging anyway. the other battery anyway. Yeah. So moving on, what we've got here, we've got the 14-inch uh, disc cutter. So currently it's mounted to the um, the floor saw attachment. The main appeal out of this, I guess, is if we're, cause we've got a load of floors to break out in old stables, like quite confined areas, yep. that's going to be a big plus, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. If, if you are using it internally and you are cutting um, floors and things like that, yeah. then maybe having it as a floor saw attachment would be a perfect it'd be perfect for you because like I say, you've got no fumes and things like that. Yeah. Um, so you're not having to have all the windows open and have no, fume no. extracts and things like that. Maximum cut five inch. Oh wow. Okay, so you've got maximum five inch. Now, it is water fed. Um, you have got two different op options with this. So uh, currently it's got a, a gravity fed water attachment on there. We do a, a battery fed water attachment, which okay. will fit on here as well. Yeah. So you, what you'd actually do is get constant water feed. With it being quite a high drain machine, what we say is two batteries will last you a very similar sort of time to it, the same as a um, full tank of two stroke petrol. Right. There's no no emission, so no, 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 no constant noise when you, you've stopped cutting, you know, the, you can just stop it. And obviously you've yeah. got that constant, and no pull starts either. No, no, no. Sounds like right. a dream. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, it's obviously, but, but on that there's nothing to service either. No, 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 exactly. Nothing at yeah. all. Nothing at Normally all. I'm shouting at mine, like, come on. Yeah, come on, yeah. It flooded the bloody thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you have to tether it or anything, or is it just. No, 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 no. So, so on there, you've got, you've got four, four legs to uh, stabilise it. Cool. And then you can put it on inclines as well, so the legs will ratchet down, so they'll find their own level as well. Yeah. Okay. But say, the, the battery's built into the back, 
and there's also an inbuilt charger on there as well, so you don't have ha ever have to remove the battery. Three power settings, so it's got a 5,000 lumens, 10,000 lumens and 20,000 lumens. This is brand new, this, this was launched um, last month. So it's a power, a power source or power supply unit, so people call it a, a generator. Yeah. So this operates off either one or two of the MX batteries, and right. what that will do is give you two 30 volt outlets. Oh, I see. Uh, 110 volt version comes out in January. Yeah. But um, so again, if you've only got if you've got no electrics in your barn, um, then you could have power in yeah, there or out in the fields. Or out in like. the fields, yeah. yeah. Uh, it will operate your uh, Nespresso machine as well quite easily, <laughs> which I do. Take quite it down allotment, yeah, which is nice. <laughs> Moving on from that, drill. Yeah. So for putting uh, it'll suitable for, cut, for drilling wet or dry uh, diamond cores. So currently it's, it's mounted in the uh, rig, which is mainly suitable for uh, concrete drilling. Yeah. But say you wanted to put a hole through your breeze block wall or things like that, it's also suitable for doing the same thing. Can that be used bolted to a wall? Yeah, you can, you can either vacuum pump it or you can mechanically fix it with a, yeah. a drop-in anchor. Yeah. Okay. So you, say you can mount it to a wall, you can put it upside yeah, down yeah. as well. So if you've got a concrete ceiling and you wanted to put a hole through there, yeah. you, you could also do that as well. Uh, it's water fed, so the water feeds just in the back end, back end of there. Oh yeah. Which is standard uh, fitting, which then would run through the center of the machine. I've got a level indicator, so it lets you know whether you're drilling in a uh, nice straight right. line. So it tells you that. And there's also a pressure indicator as well. So if you're pressing too hard, it will tell you. So there's no, no, no battery currently on that. No. So if you want to fill the weight with it with the battery, then you're more than welcome. So, so what, what battery is that then? That's the six amp power. So that's the sort of battery that goes on all these? That would be, yeah, on, on all the, 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 the bigger equipment, the high drain equipment. Yeah. So that particularly, it takes a lot of yeah. power to get that going. It's about the same weight then as a petrol. Ish. When you look at, so say a 14 inch disc cutter, it's, yeah. it, it, it is heavier because of the battery, but f from from own use, when you are actually cutting physically down, well, like most of the time you're going to be floor, on the floor, yeah. Yeah, then unless, anything, unless anything, anything below waist, wall. it's fine. Yeah. You're concreting, if you're putting concrete bases down, things like a that, lot of that, which is probably a lot meter, of that. 500 square meters, yeah. Um, we have, um, again, we've got a new, I'll move that out of the way, we've got the beams, small beam screed. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So uh, when you concrete finishing, so there is, we have a number of different um, bars that could fit onto the, to this. That's the smallest one we do, which is 1.2 metre, yeah. but we go up to 4.87 metre. On the same machine? On the exactly the same machine, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's quite a simple system, just bolt it on with those two clamps there, and then you just add the beam to it. Yeah. And they say there are seven different lengths of beam. Yeah. Um, operates for two hours uh, on a three metre beam. And that's on the smaller battery as well. They said within the next 10 years, there'll be 100 products within this range. So, so specifically to move from petrol tools to battery operated Yeah, tools. Well, we've, we've got a farm, so we use things you know, around the farm, like landscaping type tools, but also you know, cutting and breaking out concrete, a lot of old buildings yep. and confined spaces. So actually fumes and stuff, it's a bit of a pain. We've created one platform, so all on 22 volts. And to be able to cover everything on performance, we have redesigned the complete battery and also the, the interface. For the really heavy duty type of tools, like a cutoff saw, we work with two batteries. And with that, you draw two times more than what you did with the old battery. And now you have two batteries, actually four times what you did with an old battery. It allows actually to draw more current to yeah. the tool than you could do today on a corded tool. On a corded tool, the limit is more or less your 16 amps that you get in your fuse, you would just blow out the fuse. Yeah. With that new platform and this new interface, we can draw actually even more than that. It might not be ideal, but if I've, I've forgotten my large battery, and I have, or I've forgotten my small one, I can still make it fully interchangeable. So if I have a small screw gun, and That's I only so have my fair. big battery, it would still, it would still yeah, work, I can <laughs> still work, right? Yeah, yeah. And the other thing with custom stores, I want more transparency on where my tools are and how they're being utilized. And what it does in the evening, when you slide in the battery into the charger, the battery knows and communicates with all the tools and reads out the data, so the uses of the tools, and uploads it in the evening to the cloud. No way. Without you as customer need to do anything else. So, so telling the 
putting onto the cloud, what, how, what tools it's used and for how long or just? So the runtime on tool level, but we have also what we call more use cases. So you as a customer can see which of my tools sit idle. Uh, yeah. You pay money, right, for a tool, and we want you to earn money with that tool. We want you to be productive, earn money, and the only way to do that is if you use the tool. It's yeah. also not in our interest if those tools sit somewhere in the corner. On top of that, we have um, health and safety. So, for example, on the angle grinders, we introduce a technology called SenseTech, so it's 3D, without, so it's tactile. As soon as it, as, as it feels it moves in the 3D direction, it automatically switches off the tool. Yeah. And the blade is instant. So yes. Yeah, yeah. Same for the cutter saw, it has, a, it has a break in it, so as soon as you turn it off, it only takes a couple of seconds to come to a standstill. If you compare yeah. it to most of the petrol saws, they can keep going for over a minute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This petrol, this cutoff saw, has two of the bigger batteries. I mean, yeah. You can feel the weight. It's not overly heavy, it's still no. very mobile. Yeah. No fumes, no petrol, so it's also cheaper in the, in the runtime, right? That's just normal water. Normal water. Yeah. Um, um, the petrol saws today have a, have a belt. Right? and that yeah. belt can slip. This is all electromagnetic engines, right? So you have a much more direct transmission of uh, power. If a small thin slab or an asphalt, then you need less power. If you use less power, you also have more runtime on your batteries. Yeah. Um, so the more you press, the more, more power you get out of the, out of the tool. So it hits more. Uh, okay. That's better. Yeah. If you need to do uh, anchoring applications, like fasting mechanical anchors or rebar connections, like yeah. concrete to concrete, it's a hollow drill bit, so it has holes in front of it. Right. As soon as you start to drill, the vacuum cleaner is actually a backpack. You can put it and strap it on on the, on the backpack. Yeah. With Bluetooth, there can be a connection made between the tool and the, and the backpack. So as soon as you want to start drilling, you switch it on. Yeah. And it automatically sucks out the, the dust. Well, within the drill bit. Within the drill bit. So it's hollow on the inside. Sucks out the, uh, the dust. And also what that means is that afterwards, you don't have to do a cleaning of the borehole. Yeah, for the anchors the or for, uh, for a chemical uh, resin to, to do the rebar. And is this bit slower at cutting than a no. normal bit? It's faster. The same. The, it cools here because you have continuous suction, yeah. right? So you don't have any chance of overheating and you immediately get the, get the dust out. And that's just a normal, yeah, yeah, just like a tungsten. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, along with a lot of other stuff. <laughs> and can you get different? Obviously, it's just for these smaller sizes. There. It goes all the way up to these sizes. Is it's for the smaller rebar connections or like smaller mechanical anchors, but it also goes all the way up to. to so if you need like epoxy fittings and stuff, that'd be yes. perfect. Yeah. Yes. We also have really long ones because you have to do very deep anchoring, deep rebar connections, concrete to concrete. Yeah. We also have that. Amazing. The serious business that we've got is, along with steel, we're probably the biggest manufacturers of power cutters. Yeah. It's a bit annoying because we actually invented these, and, but still have got the generic name for it, but we actually invented them. So the power cutter, you sit there with a the two-stroke, and if you bring a battery version out, it's got to stand up to your two-stroke and the competition's two-stroke as well. Yeah. But also what you're doing is you're competing against yourself. Yeah, 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 of course. That product's got to be as good because you know at some point it's got to replace it. And if you're down in places like Westminster and those sort of councils now, they won't take any two-stroke. If, if there is a battery version, it has to be on site. As far as the comparisons, like weight and things like that, it's comparable? The, the battery, yeah, yeah, it's comparable. The battery stuff is a little bit heavier, yep. but it will be because of the way, it, as the technology changes, the batteries will probably get lighter because there'll be less cells, but the cells will be more powerful. So they'll probably get lighter in the long term. They're a little bit heavier, but I would say not as though you go, oh, no. it's, it's that drastic different. But then you can go completely the other way. It's the lightest one on the market. It's the lightest battery product on the market at that range. Okay. So they're a little bit heavier than the two-stroke, but it's the lightest battery yeah. of all our competitors. What's for that? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what puts the weight into yeah, one of those. And that's what gives you the power. Yeah. Because you're looking at something that's 74cc yeah. on a two stroke, you've got to have the same. So that's the equivalent of a 74cc. Yeah. And are they all interchangeable? It's in batch yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can put small batch. Yeah, every, it's a 12 inch and a 14 inch machine. 
and a four ampere and eight ampere battery and everything swatches, swaps around. Yeah, yeah. What we're doing is this is the actual battery system and the product, the tool is two different. Okay. So you've got the PACE battery system and you've got the K1 saw. The, pay, the PACE battery system will fit into other products as yeah. we develop it. Oh, that's quite compact. That's smaller than that. That's ours. exactly what I was just going to say. From the Japanese companies with the old technologies and that was inside the machines, it made the machines quite, I won't say clumsy because everybody's using them, but quite awkward. And the way that the demographics of the constructions overdue but changing, we have to adapt to different size of hands. So it's okay with guys with shovels like myself, but then we have operatives and, and down there and yourself that have small hands. But we don't yeah. want to make the machines, if you wish, unbalanced or uh, therefore hazardous in use. So the, the battery platform from the 18 volt, which gives us the stability both of charging and also yeah, recyc yeah, yeah. recycling. So if I put the battery on that, and this is where we were saying from your perspective as a user, if you wish, is the 18 volt platform probably did everything you wanted to do, but there comes a limit as to the amount of power, if you wish, the productivity that you'll get from an 18 yeah. volt battery. There's only so much you're going to do out of it. And as the dependency now falls back on cordless, you want to do more with it. Yeah. And you don't just want to use it on the drill, you want to use it on the breaker. You don't want to use it on the breaker, you want to use it on a lawnmower. But yeah. we can only get so much, again, from those cells. That's the way. But on the 18 volt platform, which you'd probably be familiar with, we had two batteries on the back and yeah. quite a large stocky motor. So it was quite heavy, it was quite bulky, it did the job. The same battery as we've just explained on the if you're general products, yeah. we're now again twinning up for the 80, 14 inch disc cutter. So two of these? With two of those again. Yeah. Can you hold which that? Just for, so we've just used, you can put either or, you can put, you don't have to have the same ampy as long as the RX GT batteries. Oh, okay. So quite heavy, 12 kilos. But it's not dissimilar. So people, when they tend to lift it up, would look at that and compare it with a 12-inch disc cutter, not with a 14. Yeah. Because yeah. the They're largest bigger. market in the UK is for 12. Yeah. But the benefit you've got with a 14 over the 12 is that depth of cut, because contractors want to cut through the concrete curbs, and with a 12-inch uh, cutter you cannot get through. You can get around about 100 to 120 mil. You cannot get the 125. The last bit. That does. Working with landscape contractors. Construction workers have, have, through their career, have evolved the practices as the battery technologies evolved on drills. Yeah. But on the landscaping side, it's really new. You know, yeah. trying to mentally think about a battery tool. Historically, you'd look at your sheds, and a battery tool is just DIY products. Yeah. So this machine here is a 53 centimeter um, mulching rotary mower but full battery. Some of the work that you're doing remotely requires you to work longer, and that's the thing I think we'd all agree on that whilst we, we're all in for innovation, it's how long is that battery going yeah. to last? Yeah. And how far do I have to come back to my charging point? Yeah. So, and generally with a petrol machine, we couldn't have this conversation now yeah. without everybody being deaf and around us. But this now enables you to work around public buildings, schools, colleges, yeah. health and environmental areas. But it's also self-drive as well. Yeah. So three-speed variable speed. But then we, we were on about battery, and I'm going to digress a little bit. So again, remember what I said, we don't make batteries which are just unique and niche to one or two products. No. So we can now take this off here. Yeah, it can become a backpack. This, when it's supplied, is supplied with a with a, a knapsack that it fits into. Yeah. And this, whether you've got 18 volt, twin 18 volt, or single 40, you buy the relevant adapter. Oh, I see. That's a blank. So that's, that's a blank, a blank yeah, socket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got that on your back. So you can use that with landscaping tools as well, then. So, yeah. yeah, so yeah. from there to back to construction because we started on this battery yeah. and now we're going to take that over to the landscaping tools now. Potentially, over all day operation from a battery without having to worry to go back. It's an overnight charge time, so click it in on the night when you get back, pick yeah. it back up the following morning, you're off and away. 
And as of March this year, we ceased production of petrol products. Oh, really? Such is the confidence in the battery and this new 40 volt XGT platform. From a sustainability and environmental, can I come to yourself and go, hey, we've got this new brush cutter and it's cordless, and you go, I'm not keen on cordless, I've got a petrol. <laughs> you know, because if we're not confident, how are you going to be confident in yeah. using it? From a cost perspective, and I know electric price has changed by the second order yeah. at the moment. Um, when we did, the, when we were doing the cost uh, comparisons for the 12 inch disc cutters, looking at fuel against electric, for the five amp hour batteries on the rapid chargers that we have, which are standard with the equipment, I think the cost in, from memory, I'll send you the data through, I think it was less than 20 pence to charge two batteries. And, and nice. the runtime was two charges to a tank of fuel, so 40 pence yeah. against, uh, I think it was one pound and 90 for a two stroke mix, 0.7 yeah, yeah. litre. Yeah. 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 So massive wow. cost saving. A single battery 40 volt unit, yeah. which I would put against maybe a 35, 25, 35 cc petrol oh, okay. product. Oh, so it's still quite powerful. Yeah, but now we're up to this unit, which is above 50 cc. Again, two batteries, 80 volt. Yeah. But that's a clearing brush cutter. So yeah. blade uh, or with lime. Yeah. Um, if you're doing large areas of clearance, well, it comes out with either the twist or the round, we do a square line. And oh, the right. square line's a lot sharper, especially yeah. when you come into the thicker undergrowth. Yeah, yeah. And it slices through it rather than wrap itself around it. This one's hot off the press. This is this due to be launched next month. You'll notice that it's got an orange backpack. It's exactly the same power I'm unit there. that you've got there, now on here. And the reason that we did it orange is because we put this into network rail for okay. trials. And of course, when you put the blue backpack on, it covers the high visibility. Oh, yeah. So we, we, Japan authorised for reskinning. So I've reskinned it in orange, but they come as standard with the eye flashes in a way, yeah. eye visibility flashes in a way. But that's now your, your 50, 60, 70 cc backpack blower yeah. in a battery form. First, first night out in a long time. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. It, yeah, it's all right. It's a work do, but we'll take it. We will take it. <laughs> I told you at the beginning I'd give you a bit of a preview into what we decided. I don't know if it was because of the tool range or just maybe because they got the assignment when I was going around all the stools better, but Elliot from Milwaukee just seemed to have an answer for all the different solutions and scenarios we were talking about. And that was proper construction tools, things like big cutoff saws, big breakers, um, and other usually dominated by two stroke tools. Uh, and the answer was the MX range. We had a good chat with Elliot. He goes to sites and does demos. We've managed to get all the kit out and hire and that's what I've been using today. So in a future video, we're gonna be looking at these in person and getting Joe on the tools. But for now, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.